Hey guys, so we finally got a new hero on Apex Legends. Actually, I shouldn't say finally. The game's only been out for like five weeks or something, but we got a new hero, and he's super awesome, okay? Super awesome. Personally, my favorite hero now. His his abilities and his kit just fit my playstyle so perfect. Absolutely love him. But before the, I get into the actual video, I wanted to give just a little brief description of Octane for those of you that may be unaware or haven't seen or haven't heard. I've got a bunch of wild clips in the background of, of Octane, so you can watch that in the background while I quickly explain. So, first and foremost, his passive ability is called Swift Mind, and he regens health over time. It doesn't specifically say what he regens, but I believe that it's one health every two seconds, and that's to kind of counteract his ability. Now, his ability is super unique. Now, I believe that it costs 10 health. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it costs 10 health. So you use the ability, you lose 10 health, but you gain 30% faster speed for a total of six seconds. So absolutely ridiculous. It, it, it makes for some really fun gameplay. It speeds it up immensely. It's really fast paced. And you can use it in so many different situations. Like you can get in and out of fights. You can just traverse the map faster. Every, it just, it's so open. There's so many things that you can do with it. And that's not even talking about his ultimate ability yet, which, by the way, he recharges insanely fast. His ultimate ability is really cool. It is that jump pad that you just saw me throw down in the clip in the background. So when you, you get it really fast, so you might as well just use it on cooldown. I'm not sure how fast you get it exactly, but trust me, it's insane how fast you get it. You might as well just throw him down. And you can use him so many different ways. You can use him to, you know, jump on an enemy, get out of a fight, get into a fight. There's, or even just get into places that you're not meant to be. So in Bone Zone or Skull Town, for example, I call it the Bone Zone. <laughs> in Skull Town, for example, you can get on top of buildings, like the main middle high buildings from the little ones just by throwing a jump pad down. And that can catch some enemies off guard. It's, it's really unique, man. It's super fun. But anyways, I've been having a blast playing this character. And I've got a stupid amount of clips. I've got a stupid amount of gameplays. But I picked this one in particular because this one was... I was solo the entire time. I was solo. Which is, to me, really, really cool. I feel like Octane is one of those heroes that can self-sustain himself well enough to be played solo. And that's hard to do in this game. It's really, really hard. If you come across a team that's decent and there's three of them, chances are you're going to lose. So, it's cool, man. Listen, if you haven't played Octane... I recommend it. Give him, give him a go. He's super, super fun. Really unique to play. Uh, with that said, I'm gonna let a couple more clips play out, and then I'll uh, we'll get into the full game. I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bro, this character is so sick. <laughs> There's people everywhere. Ah, he's so fast! Look at him run! <laughs> Dude, he looked hilarious! Are you kidding me? That's what he looks like when he sprints? <laughs> what a little weenie. Yoink! I need your armor, friend. One more. Chicken exploded. Nice shot, nice shot, nice shot. Two, 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 two. Make it two. One more up nice. there. He's lit. He's up there. He's probably going to get the res. He's one down. He's down. There's an Octane and a Bloodhound. Got him. Ow. Big brain plays, dude. Where is 
Where's the last one? Oh shit, the other team sighted me. Good thing there's fresh level blue armor up here. There we go. Don't even need to heal. I want them to push in here. So what I'm doing is I open the I open those doors to the inside because if they push in, then they can use those doors as shields. And I keep those doors to the outside so I can use them as shields. The bullets do not break down doors. But looks like the other team pushed them. So it didn't really matter. I'm not shooting because I don't know where his teammates are. He could have a team, and I'm not sure where the team is sitting. They could be on my left. I'm right in the open, so the reason that I want to wait is because I want to be able to kill him before his teammates show up. So now his team is going to push from somewhere. There they are. One more somewhere. I'm just gonna thirst him and then I'm just gonna run away. Cause if he if he gets the res, then we'll just kill him again. Never mind, found the last guy. The last two squads are fighting just south of us, so I'm gonna see if I can get there in time and try to third party it. This is the best opportune moment to, to win the game solo. Because if they're, their fight ends and it's a 3v1, full 3v1, they're fully healed and everything, then it's gonna be very, very difficult. So the goal is to, uh, to win the fight before they uh, fully heal each other and shit. So now I'm in a bad spot because now both teams are actually fighting me. So I'm going to back out of here. And we're going to figure this one out in a second. Because they're going to start pushing each other somehow, some way. And when that happens, then, we'll, then I'll push back in. But the last thing I want as a solo player is to get pinched by two teams. Maybe we go back in now? Let's see. That's a big kill to get. Frag out. Charging. That's also a big kill to get. There we go. We have a winner. And that's why Octane is the best, dude. His mobility is so good. He's such an incredible... He's so fun, man.
That was sick. You are the Apex Champions. Absolutely love this character, man.